G'day champions. This is gonna be an awesome video. I've had a few people request testing an aluminium propeller as opposed to a stainless propeller and seeing the difference that's gonna make. So this is the test rig today. We've got a 15 horsepower Mercury. It does have trim and tilt. I'm just gonna leave that set on one setting when we're out there. Um, the prop, this is a Solace 10 pitch prop, aluminium. And I have a stainless Solace 10 pitch prop here. So we're gonna be comparing apples for apples with pitch and diameter. The only difference is they're gonna be aluminium versus stainless. Visually, I can see that the stainless blades are thinner than the aluminium blades. So could be a little bit of an advantage there. And also this bell on the end that I'm pointing to, a little bit of a different shape, but I just don't know, just don't know if it's gonna be much of a difference really, and if it's gonna be worth the cost of buying a new stainless prop over your stock aluminium prop. So we'll do a test with the aluminium first, and then we'll go and have a look at the stainless. I've got a GPS. We'll be looking at top speeds, aeration or cavitation whilst turning, and we'll just weigh it up, check it out. All right, let's get into it. All right, we'll kick off with the standard aluminium prop. This is a 10 pitch, just like the stainless. So we're sort of comparing the same sort of pitch, just aluminium to stainless and see if, you know, it makes any difference. I'll be surprised if it's a massive difference personally. Um, so we'll be testing top end speed, whether it aerates or cavitates whilst turning. Um, and we'll do some mid speed turns and also the jumping up on the plane, we'll sort of see the difference between the two there. All right, let's get going. I do have a GPS here, which I've cleared the max speed. Max speed at the moment's 1.3 k's an hour, so we'll see how we go. All right, we'll jump up on the plane. Let's have a look at this GPS. What have we got? So we've got max speed, 47.9 kilometers an hour there. I mean, that that 10 pitch aluminium seems to perform pretty well to me. Um, jumping up on the plane was fine. The I've, I've got the motor trimmed up a little bit more than normal for the max speed run, but I don't know if you'd run it there, but sort of turning, there was a little bit of aeration, but not over the top. So, you know, pretty good performer. The stainless would have to do a lot better to warrant the price tag if you're buying it new. So anyway, we'll whack it on. Maybe it is way better. We'll see. <laughs> All right, alley off. Put that there. All right, we'll put the nut on that and the slip pin. Give that a run. All right, so I'm out here with the stainless prop. Give this a run. Sun's just nearly down, so I don't have long. I snuck this in in the afternoon. Um, cleared the GPS, max speed 1.5, 1.7 k's an hour. We're just sort of cruising along a bit, coasting along. All right, let's get this going. It's the same trim setting as before. Probably a little bit trimmed further out than you'd normally run. Um, for comfort, but I was just sort of testing top end speed, so right, I'll do a whole shot. Not a problem.
okay, so definitely less aeration. Definitely less aeration whilst turning, which is always a good thing. Um, whole shot felt very similar. Let's look at the top speed. So 50.8 k's now, it's pretty much 51 k's now, so definitely faster. Tiller feeling felt, you know, better. So I guess my, you know, findings are it's definitely better, but is it worth the cost of a new one? Probably not. I mean, if you can find a good second hand stainless prop, yeah, maybe go for it, but I'll be definitely keeping that on there because it's an upgrade. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and uh, you guys, I hope you all have a really, really awesome year this year and um, really good things coming on the channel too. All the best champs, see you later.